boy, oh boy, does I, does I? Oh boy, oh boy, do I have a surprise for you. Second time's the charm. Hey, what's up, you guys? So this week I was inspired to do something just a tad bit different. I was thinking about doing a Q&A, but then I wanted to add a twist to it. So what I just did is I texted my mom and said, hi, mother. I don't know why I said mother. I never say mother. <laughs> Quick question. If you could ask me any five questions, no boundaries, and have me honestly answer them, what would they be? I sent her that completely out of the blue. Like I wasn't even planning on necessarily filming today. So it's, it's gonna catch her off guard, essentially. Cause I want her to be open and honest and just ask me whatever she wants. They could be anything. Like, they're, they're probably not gonna be really crude or explicit, because I know my mom, but they could be. I don't know, who knows? Who knows? What if my mom just asked me like incredibly explicit questions? <gasps> But before we get to the questions, I want to quickly let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks with so many different titles. They have so many books and are a fantastic service. So the book that I want to recommend to you guys this month is The Girl on the Train, and I know I've recommended you guys that before, but The Girl on the Train is out in theaters, and I thoroughly enjoyed listening to the audiobook version. So before I go see that, I want to go listen to it on Audible. And if you guys want to listen along with me, use audible.com slash Connor to get a free 30-day trial. I'll put it down below, but again, that is Audible com slash Connor. Read a book. On to the questions. I'm like, just like a, a tad bit nervous because I mean, I, I haven't read these yet. Nothing I've ever done is like in this candid. For all I know, this video is gonna flop. I'm putting my trust in my mother. I do trust her. Okay, number one, are you happy with who you are and where you are in life at this point? I knew it. I knew she would go deep. <laughs> if you guys wonder why I'm like such a deep person, it's because I get it from my mom and my dad. <laughs> at this point in my life, like at the ripe age of 24, I am very happy with who I am and what I've accomplished. All things aside, I really do feel like I'm a great person doing great things, and I don't feel bad for saying that. I feel very, very fortunate to be who I am, and I'm very proud of who I am, which is a really weird thing to say, but I really am. But also, I really do look forward to becoming me. Like, I know that this version of me is not the final version of me, so I look forward to being the me that I will be in the future. And by no means am I done doing stuff, so I'm so excited to keep working and keep pushing and keep... just keep going. Okay, now I, let's see if the next one's deep. <laughs> is there anything that Dad and I could slash should have done as your parents to help you recognize slash accept your sexuality. Parentheses, I feel badly that I was so clueless. So for anyone watching, my parents didn't know that I was gay growing up. So when I told them, they were really, really shocked. They just, they didn't know. They were okay with it, but they didn't know. I did a really good job of hiding it. <laughs> ah, I could laugh because the pain is gone. Mm. To be honest, no, mom. Um, you guys were, my parents are fully accepting people. They have been nothing but kind and loving to everyone, every type of person. I have the best family. I have the most accepting family. I have the most, I don't know. I just, I love my family. Like I, I couldn't ask for a better family. We're all so loving. We're all doing our own things in life. We all call each other every, and almost every day. I literally talked to like every single one of my family members this week already. And I just feel lucky to have that. So in summary, no, I don't, I actually don't think my parents could have done anything. I think it was just kind of a self battle of me not wanting to accept it myself. Yeah, I don't know. But I guess if any parents are watching this, just like always have an open dialect with your children. And I guess just even kids watching this that have friends, just always be talking to people, always be conversing and always like let the people that are closest to you know that they can tell you anything and that they can fully be themselves. I think that's all we can really do in life. Number three, okay, the first two are deep. Let's see if the third one is. Is there anything that you wish you could change or do over. Okay, interesting. Oop, oop, air conditioning turned on. I'm turning that off. Ta-da. I guess like I answered for question number one, I am very happy with who I am now. I think if I wasn't happy with who I am now, I would totally want to change so many things. But if I were to change things, I wouldn't be the person I am now. So I'm afraid to say that I would change things. Hypothetically speaking, if I were to change something, I would. One, I would come out sooner. I think life would have just been more interesting if I was openly gay in high school and if I was openly gay in college. I, it would just be interesting, I guess, to see what would have happened, I don't know. And also something that I just thought about too is I wish I found a way to finish college and 
still be where I am today. Like I wish there was a way that I still was able to finish out those two years at school and somehow still be exactly the same person with the, exactly the same experiences as I am today. But that's just me like nitpicking things. I don't think I would actually change those because I think that would change who I am. Okay, I'm just, just blabbing on. <laughs> Number four, what drives you nuts about your dad and me? Oh no. I suppose they don't have to be about me. She, I just told her she could ask me any question she wanted. Um, oh gosh, let me think. There's not too much right now because again, we like, we, we live separately. I mean, like when I was at home, there was probably plenty of things, but like it's that's what happens when you live with people is you find things to nitpick about them. I guess one thing that comes to mind, and my mom is gonna hate me for this, but so my my mom is currently planning my brother's wedding, and she just talks about it nonstop. Mom, I love you, but you talk about it so much. Can I even put that on the internet? Mom, I swear, I'm okay with it. I love you. Yeah, I don't know, but that's over in like a month, so that'll change. My dad, my dad, what could I? My dad just has so many like bad habits and I like pick up those habits from him. He's like a loud eater and stuff like, is he even a loud eater? Am I just making that up? We make a video every single year for my dad's Father's Day video, basically just dragging him. We like basically just tease him about all the crazy things he did that year or all the new habits he formed that year. So I can't even pick on my dad. I love you. I seriously, I love, I love you, mom and dad. I love you guys. Okay. The fifth and final question is, what is the biggest dream that you have at this point? What is my biggest dream? My mom, of course, just went with like all like the deep questions. I told you there would be nothing like explicit. It's it's interesting because I would have answered the explicit questions too. Weird. Oh my God, so weird. Not that I would want those questions for my mom. Whoa. Attractive. I'm trying to think of something that's not cliched. I feel like I, I've recently realize that my my biggest dream or just kind of where I'm finding my passions lead me to I would really really love for my clothing brand common culture to be a legitimate clothing brand it's a weird dream of mine right now and ever since I got this idea in my head a couple months ago it's a weird dream of mine to have like to present it at New York Fashion Week, to be a legitimate designer who goes and like picks out different fabrics, goes to dye houses and selects like my own dye, like a legitimate designer from like start to finish and then having it be modeled and presented on a runway. I don't know, there's something about that right now that just sounds like the coolest thing that I could possibly do. And I don't know why, <laughs> I, I don't know why. I've never even like talked about this to barely anybody to be honest, but like that is something that I, I strive for and like secretly dream about. But yeah, in general, it's just like, just to like never get sick of creating in all realms. Like I love to write, I love to design, I love to make videos, I love to take pictures. Like I just hope I never get sick of creating and I, if I can always be doing this in some form, like then I'm living my dream. That's where I find myself being my happiest. So if I'm continuing to do what I'm doing, I think I am living my dream. And that makes me pretty lucky. Okay, I think I just kind of, just kind of blabbed on a bit. Big shout out to my mother for submitting those questions. I'd be, I, now that I've read them, because I didn't want to read them, I'm going to ask her if my dad actually helped as well. I'm assuming he'd want to know those too. But yes, yeah, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I forgot to say that I got this idea from Tanya Burr and Jim Chapman. They're married and they did this together, I believe, a long time ago. But okay, everybody, um, that's about it. Look forward to some really, really, really cool shit coming within the next month and two months. From now up until Christmas, there is some cool stuff that I have to finally show you guys, to finally talk about, so get excited for that. Sorry to tease. I know you guys hate it when I tease, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are having a great week. I love you guys, and I will see you next week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to big thumbs up, leave a comment below. Bye.